but well, we are back i'm back on the tools i'm out of breath i just had to run for some screws uh yeah we're back on the tools the uh this thing is costing me an absolute fortune not only in uh, pounds and pence but in man hours as well i'm too old for this so the the, the plan was um we were going to do just one backdrop in the bay uh, because that essentially was just the bit that you've seen on camera and then we're going to work our way around in the weeks ahead um, but i couldn't live with that because i didn't like that stand in the back which was the ping stand that was a bit of a mess and uh, so we've now invested uh, not a lot but more money to do the whole bay out now and uh, a bit a bit of a more substantial outlay in terms of the technology which i'm going to share with you shortly the technology bit is just blown my mind and i'm hoping that you agree it's going to take the channel to a different level but it comes at a massive cost and i don't just mean uh, in terms of labor hours i mean in terms of physical cost pounds and pence i'm skinned so I am literally the only uh, the only re reviewer I know who's. Well, I'm in my golf gear. We did a video earlier today, and uh, I'm reviewing one minute and uh, building the bay the next. I'm reviewing in uh, building in Oscar Jacobson. Well, not quite finished uh, yesterday in four golf. We're almost there. Uh, it is getting ever closer. But today I'm waiting on a delivery that uh, is key to what we do on a Friday. Is we plan content uh, for the weeks ahead. Um, we're doing that with something in mind and it's, uh, it's a piece of equipment that needs to arrive today and it's part of this large investment that I keep referring to. But without the delivery, which is looking ever more unlikely, this video isn't going anywhere and uh, neither is our new looking content. Come on DHL, where are you? We have just literally had um, 9.02, that message I recorded previously was about, uh, well, about nine o'clock. And the good news is DHL Express from Beep will be delivered be before the end of day. It's on its way, we're closer, we're even closer still. The excitement level is rising, but for me at least anyway. I think the most overly used phrase uh, in this whole project is we're nearly there, but we're nearly there. It would have been nice to have got someone to do all this for me, but to be honest with you, it's nice, isn't it, when you kind of like, uh, when you put the hard work and graft in and you have a look around you, and each time we sort of complete a section or a different wall, I'm thinking, you know what, I love this place uh, even more, and uh, to think that I did that is uh, it's a good feeling. A uh, bit of an update on the delivery. We've still not got it yet. I, I've never been so, you know, when you're a child on Christmas Eve is the best way I can describe it. I can't believe we're about to get this piece of kit. Uh, I'm really excited, um, but I still haven't got it yet. Finally. Right, so finally it arrived. It was uh, late, very late in the afternoon and unfortunately didn't get a uh, chance to try it until the following morning. But I can tell you it's a fantastic piece of kit and it is, of course, Trackman 4. Uh, first of all, it's as a, as a toy in terms of what you'll see in terms of playing games on this thing, in terms of a golf simulator, it's incredible. But it's also a huge investment and one that I couldn't make just to play games on. The difficulty I have had is that I'm not a golf coach, so there's, I get no money out of this in terms of lessons. It was trying to justify why I could spend or invest so much money in essentially what is producing better content for the viewer. So it, it took months in terms of deliberation as to whether or not I should finally take the plunge or not. But 
I think we're at a stage with the channel where it needed to move on to the sort of next step. And to do that, by moving into this bay was that first uh, step in doing so. It also meant that I didn't have access to the, the, the track man that Four Golf had uh, sort of gave me access to for the last couple of years. So I needed to go in a route. We ended up with Trackman 4. And, um, I hope that you agree that the content that you see in the coming weeks is just took it up a notch in terms of the information I can give you. Uh, in terms of simulator stuff, I, the ideas I've got is when I've always been hitting the balls off this mat and explaining where they've gone, well obviously you'll see that in terms of uh, the sort of shot tracer graphics, but rather than in a driving range, I'm thinking of taking that out into a, onto a virtual course. So for example, I hit off here, but we're trying to find a fairway at perhaps the, uh, the 17th at St. Andrews or something. Uh, the, the amount of courses we can play is phenomenal. And then there's a number of sort of uh, fun games that are in there, but also challenges. And to integrate them into the, uh, into the review is I'm just thinking of ways in which maybe at the end of the sort of serious aspect to reviewing a, a piece of kit, we then again take it into a challenge, see how it performs, and then thinking of sort of leaderboards in terms of um, driver competitions. It's You've seen a little bit of that with the, hopefully the overlays we've put on for you now, but in the weeks ahead, you'll see just how much more um, interesting I think that the reviews will become. At least that, that's what I'm hoping. So yeah, massive investment. Um, Still don't know whether or not I've gone mental or not, whether it was the right decision, only time will tell. But I hope that you get better content, more enjoyment from it. And uh, the, the information, we've always been on a number of aspects. I've always said that the reviews are opinion based. And what this does is it takes away the opinion and it becomes very much more fact based. So this idea of being able to see exactly where we hit on the club face, measure and forgiveness, those kind of things, becomes something that we can back up with uh, with data and fact. And then again, being conscious of the, the, the fact that I don't want to sort of uh, all of a sudden be bombarding you with data. So just finding all that balance. And then again, one last thing is to be able to take Trackman out onto the golf course itself and measure data in real conditions, which I think again, is something that nobody's doing right now, which I think will be really, really interesting to see. What does a ball do and how does a club perform in reality, when a ball's sitting down in the rough, what happens to spin? Um, what impact is uh, 6,000 revs on a spin, on a landing on a green as opposed to 7,000? All those kind of things I want to start to look at and go into a bit more detail. So that's it in a week's ahead. This has been the build. You've seen where we're at. We've now got the piece of kit. We've now got to start making some videos and that's uh, it's got to be first one today. So uh, this is Monday evening. I should see a Thursday with the first video, which I think is going to be the Cobra Rad Driver that uh, Bryson won with uh, last night. Probably not quite the same setup, but that's going to be the first review with our new style of content. So uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do uh, creating it. Anyway, as ever, thanks for watching. Uh, like button, subscribe, all those different things. and. Uh, Keep those comments coming. What do you think? Have I gone mad or is this a good move forward for the channel? Let me know. Right, I couldn't leave it there because we're going to play. I've just loaded uh, the first game and the first simulator game or course I've chose is St. Andrews. Couldn't start anywhere else. It is the old course. And I'm going to play the first all with the camera on. Uh, 358 yards. Fairway is, uh, well, it's plenty generous enough, but I'm going with a five wood. Let's see if we can uh, get off to a par start. I said, it's on the safe side, it's definitely, it's gone down the left and it's not cutting back too much, but that's not bad. Go ball, what have we got? Keep going, a 203 carry, that's rolled out. What does that leave us for second shot in? The graphics are incredible, you know. Right, so we've got, is that 140 in? We've got 140 into the flag. Um, we'll go eight iron. Find me an eight iron. Bear with me. What have we got here? We've got a JPX forged eight iron. Or is this a, uh, it's a hot metal actually, right. So where's the flag? Flag is left half of the green.
Oh, that could be cutting in on the flag. That's decent. That's decent. Now you wait and see what happens. Is that any good? Sit down, ball. Sit down. Oh, it's just gone past the flag. We've got it on a, a sort of auto two put at the minute. It wasn't a bad second shot. We've still got 33 feet, which would have been for birdie, but that's going to be a auto finish. It's a two put par. It's a decent start. Do you know what? This is incredible in terms of uh, the graphics and all it does. I've already said that, but uh, if we can bring this into the review element of what we do, it could be something incredible. I'm enjoying it anyway. I'm going to play the second hole and uh, 406 yards with the driver. I'll see you soon.